All right, good morning. Morning. Another leg day today. And this is gonna be a brutal. At least I think it will be. It better be, because I'm gonna push it. Uh, drop the boys off at their moms, and I am dog sitting their little dog. And that's gonna be interesting. And it's puppy still. The guy at my house now just dropped it off, put it in an area. We'll see how that all goes. Um, a cute little thing. And Fruity is her name. Roman named her Fruity. <laughs> and he said, if I get a dog, he wants to name the dog Veggie. Yeah, so <laughs> I, I don't think I'm gonna get a dog though. Uh, but we'll see what happens after this weekend watching this little pup and uh, see how it goes and whatever. All right, so today got uh, legs. I got normal uh, uh, deadlifts, so conventional deadlifts. I'm gonna go pretty darn heavy. It's the last week of this mesocycle. I got front squats, get really deep on those. I have some uh, elevated, like 45 degree angle um, back raises, but it you know does target your hamstrings and your hammies. And then uh, what else is there? I think it's just curls. So not too many exercises today. Uh, and I also got my plan for next week, and or starting for next week, the next next phase. And so we change up the rep range a little bit, change up the exercises. But half the exercises roughly are the same. Other ones are different or variations of it. Um, <clears throat> one of them, he has me doing the, you know, that hit thrust thing that chicks do with, with the bell, barbell. Man, I gotta swallow my ego on that one because I thought that was only a move for chicks. <laughs> Sorry for any of you dudes that, that do it. And I guess I'm gonna be doing it. But coach says do it. So guess what? I'm gonna do it, and 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 then that's that's it, right? You can follow what your coach says. You hire them. Doesn't mean you don't question and ask why is this, and but for the most part, I'm just I'm just just listening. I'm just listening. So I'm gonna be pushing really hard today. I've got my weightlifting straps. If you don't have weightlifting straps, you you need to get those because it it allows you to do so much more. And you think, oh, my, my grip strength, I want to work my grip strength. Well, then work on your grip strength dedicated or forearm work dedicated work. Because you don't want your grip to be the limiting factor on exercises where you can do a lot more. You know, I'm thinking, you know, I need the back exercises where you're doing pull downs, right? Lat pull downs or even pull ups. Don't let your grip be the limiting factor. Use the stress, pull it, you know, it, uh, remove that as a limiting factor and you can, you'll get bigger gains. Also, with the, the deadlift, now I'm not competing. So it's not like I need to worry about you know competition stuff where you're not allowed to use them. I'm trying to get bigger and um, bigger and, and more muscles, so I'm gonna use the weightlifting straps. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to do it. You know, like on I was doing Romanian deadlifts uh, the other day, and if I didn't have uh, the straps, there's no way I could have done the weight I was doing, uh, which is my grip strength, and I wouldn't have been able to work my my hammies as as much. And so it's okay to have these things to help you get better. There's nothing uh, wrong with utilizing it. It's not a crutch, it's, it, it's an enhancer. It allows you to do more and allows you to grow. And then if you want to build up your forearms, then do specific forearm exercises uh, for that. And that was one of those things too, I had to get into my head is, okay, I thought the same thing. Well, I wanna strengthen my forearms, but is well what's the purpose of the exercise if i'm working my back the, the main factor thing is is the back right and so maximize what you get or if you're, it's your deadlifts you know your deadlifts or and so do the things you need to do to, to grow and a same thing for the, with work and y your career is that there's no harm in doing things to help you get better to, to get better you know, some people want to go struggle at it alone is I, I gotta do this all on my own. Here I go again on my own. You know that song, and 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 they flounder. And versus going asking for help, you know, even asking your boss for help if if you got one. And hey, I'm struggling making these cold calls. I'm struggling not doing as well with these meetings. Now you might think your boss might not like hearing that. Well, if your boss doesn't like hearing that, you're asking for help to get better. 
you might need a different different place to work because what would you rather have is that you just fail or you get help and get better now i'm not saying you only have to go to your boss you can watch other videos and sales trainings from reputable sources there's a lot of stuff out there i really not a big fan on because they really promote that it's that ideology of where you get anybody to buy anything from you and you're the best salesperson i hate that that's just stupid that's wrong you should never try to get people to buy things from you that don't need what you uh, what you have or it's not going to fulfill something for them just to convince them to buy when they actually shouldn't buy you know you see that with car salesmen they try to convince you, people to buy a car that's way above their budget or what they can actually afford but hey you can get the loan for it we can make it we can make the numbers work but it doesn't benefit them yeah and no offense to the car guys that are listening to this hope you're not doing that all right i know maybe it's even been pushed but there, there's nothing special about being getting some person to get a payment that's going to make them you know car rich and um cash poor where they can't enjoy the rest of their lives and I, we have that in the mortgages I, I tell my loan officers you don't want people to be house rich and cash poor and and so we got to be conscientious of where their budgets are at and not push the pre-approvals uh, the what they qualify for beyond that and because it happens all the time you know people have a budget of x and but they get qualified for a house of y amount and that purchase price of that house the payment on there is far exceeds what they feel comfortable with the payment and that's that's not cool you know you got to do the right thing doing the right thing as they say is always the right thing and yeah will you lose sales as a result of it of course you will well, that's gonna happen right but I'm a big believer you reap what you sow yeah it's a principle you sow good things you plant good things you reap good fruit things come and in ways that you won't even know that it will come and realize it and and just know that's that's a law you know you reap what you sow what you plant you get if you plant apple seeds you don't get you don't get tomatoes you get apples if you plant orange seeds you don't get bananas you get oranges and so if you plant good doing the right thing the right things come back to you all right so let's it, just focus on doing the right thing i'm kind of a little all over the place with with the stuff today and but that happens and so if, if you're struggling in your, in your career and you need help get the help ask for help don't be afraid ask one of the other top salespeople, you know for some pointers some tips a lot of top guys they're more than happy to share some things is because they don't have a scarcity mindset they don't they don't have a scarcity mindset because they have an abundance mindset so don't be afraid to ask for help all right at the gym gotta get this workout in see you later